Look, the thing about motivation is that even the most motivated and ambitious people sometimes have off days where they're in the funk. They don't feel like getting up. They don't feel like doing anything in their schedule. And they don't know why they feel unmotivated. But sometimes this kind of lack of motivation goes on for days or weeks or months. But in my mind, staying motivated is more about, especially on the days where you don't feel motivated, the things that you don't do instead of the things you actually do. So in this video, I want to share what I do on those days where I'm just in the funk. I'm in a cloud and I don't want to do crap. What's up guys? Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now I've included a bonus goal setting cheat sheet download down there below. So if you struggle with motivation, you want to improve some aspect of your life, go download that in the description box right there below. You'll also be added to my free seven day personal development and weight loss crash course. Now for me, when I feel unmotivated, the very first thing I noticed is I usually feel overwhelmed. So to me, motivation is the time where I get from being in my body to in my mind too much. And look, sometimes you just wake up and you feel weird, but usually it's when I feel overwhelmed. So the overall thing that I wanna focus on in the days where I don't feel motivated is to focus on activities that put me back in my body and that pull me out of my mind. So what does that really look like for me? For me, it tends to be two things, which is the gym and then listening to an audiobook and going for a long walk. Now I know, look, like if you feel unmotivated during the day, who really wants to go to the gym? But for me, the gym is such a potent mood enhancer and it makes me just feel so good once I've gotten my blood and my circulation going for an hour that I know 100% of the time I feel better. Sometimes I feel perfect, totally normal, after going to the gym for that day. So on the days where I feel unmotivated, if there's anything I don't do, it's all the intellectual, all the other stuff, the things I do are anything related to the gym, sports, hanging out with friends, going for a walk. And for me, what I like to use these days for is days for recalibrating. So I listen to a personal development audiobook like Earl Nightingale, and I just like to go for an hour or two walk. Here I live kind of near a waterfront, and I'll just walk along the waterfront, and I use that as time to actually think about my life. So the third thing this ends up transitioning into is I use the days I'm unmotivated to do a conscious strategy day. And all that means is that I've shared my strategy day, my strategy pages exercise here before. But all it is is I write down on a piece of paper, am I building the kind of life that I want to be living? It's really simple. Like in five years, where do I want my health, my finances, my fun, my fulfillment, my contribution? Where do I want all that stuff to be? Like what do I want my life to look like? And sometimes it makes me realize that I don't want to be living where I'm living. I don't want to be doing what I'm doing. I don't want to be around the people that I'm around, that I need to prioritize health more or finances or being around new people more. And so I use these days where I'm off to rather than do, spend more time kind of just this free form creative thinking. You know, even in Einstein's biography, I don't remember what university he was at in the US, but he was notorious for walking. He was called the absent minded professor, right? He was walking while thinking these physics equations and he would be so far from home that he didn't remember where he was. He would actually have to ask people how to get back home. And I want you to just go for like this wander and just think about the things in your life, just like this light, freeform, creative movement. And for me, listening to audiobooks gives me ideas. And it gives me just the impetus to start thinking about what do I want to create? Like what's exciting me? It's a total day off. It's a day of just pondering and free flow. And then what I do is I sit down in a cafe after, if I have the time, or the schedule works out for that, and I just spend one day journaling out all the things that I wanna build and I wanna create. And I've noticed that when I take the time to actually figure out what's exciting me about the future, there's a lot more motivation the next day to actually get up and do the things I know that I need to do. Now the fourth step for me is once I've actually taken time to do a strategy page, go for a nice walk, listen to an audiobook, I pick just the one thing I can control right now in my life. And I know that a lot of the time we wake up in a funk because we feel like everything is out of our control. Somebody just died. You're undergoing this illness. No doctor knows what's going on with you. 
you're, you're having issues with your friends or the person you're dating or you just went through a breakup. You can't fix those things all the time. And so I try to find the one thing I can control right now. And the one thing I can control sometimes just means going to the gym and feeling good for a few hours. Or maybe you realize in the pursuit of your goal, instead of sitting here and spending all day crying about the breakup, maybe you decide today, I'm just going to go out with friends and go bowling or play tennis or just go for a walk and talk about life, a trip you have upcoming. Because sometimes that sphere of what we feel like we can control, it just, it all feels like things that we can't do anything about. But I try to find the one thing that I actually can do something about, and that's what I start acting on. Now, ultimately for me, the funk, if it happens one day or a couple days, it's fine. I don't overanalyze it. But if it happens for like a week or two weeks, then I know something big is really wrong in my life. And that's when I would really take time to reflect and think, like, what do I have to change in a big way about my life if I really don't like every day? But sometimes in the early days of your journey and pursuing your goals, there's going to be a lot of days where you're in the funk because you feel like you're not making progress. You feel like you don't know if this is ever going to work out. You don't have that faith mindset like, hey, it's all rainbows and unicorns. You genuinely don't know genuinely have no clue if you're going to make it but those are the days the dark nights of the soul where you just have to push knowing that this is the path you want to be on and no matter how hard it gets you're going to commit to the process and to eventually getting there so i hope that helps you guys before you go comment there below and let me know for you what is the thing you like to do on the days where you're in the funk and of course i've also included that free bonus download guide it's a goal setting worksheet for planning out your perfect year based on this kind of vision goal setting process that i have You'll also get the first chapter of my book for free when you sign up for that email list, which includes my seven-day personal development and weight loss challenge. You can also get the last two videos that came out right here and right here.